Hey everyone, DCB here again. Um, I had some requests from the last video, cat hair, on uh, how I made the mother mold in Fusion. Um, I'm not a Fusion expert. Uh, I, I do what I can, but uh, I'll try to walk you through step by step how, how I do it. I don't know if it's the correct way or what, but it's, it works for me. I'll do it with the tree here. This is going to be my next product, so my next project. So I might as well make a mother mold for that. So uh, let me show you how I do it. So it seems like in all these tutorials I see, they always start out just super basic. Like first, turn on Fusion. Actually, sometimes they'll say first, turn on your computer, download Fusion, then open Fusion. So do that. So we got Fusion open. All right, first thing I need to do is I need to bring in my STL file of the tree that I kind of worked on a little bit in a different program uh, in Mesh Mixer. I chopped the branches off the tree and stuff, so I just have this as one file. So to do that, I'll go insert and then insert mesh, apple pie tree, and I will rotate it, rotate it, 90 there, and then 90 there. Just so the top is the top, the front is the front. All right, and then this came in extremely small. So I have to go to, first I click it, cancel. click the file, go to modify, scale, and I already measured it and I know it's 1017% scale factor. So it came in really tiny, but now it should be good. So now I'm going to do a sketch on the top layer and I'm just going to draw a line one edge to the other where I want the two mold halves to separate just one straight line like that finish that sketch and then I'll go to construct plane at an angle and click that line make it 90 degrees so now I have this plane going right through right where I want it to split Get rid of that sketch there so now I'm going to make a new sketch on the plane I just drew. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a quick box or two around the tree. And just to have something to measure off of. So if I double click the box and then right click, hit fix. Same with this one. Fix. That locks those into place. And now I'm going to draw my mold box. About 15, about 15 millimeters away. But we'll come in and measure that. So that. I'm going to go off of that one and that one. I'm going to go 15. And then off this to this, I'm just going to click that 15. So if I change my mind, I just have to change one. This to this, and click that 15. Make that horizontal. Go from here to here. Make that 15. Oops. Make that that. And then bring this down bring this over kind of a basic you can kind of see i'm gonna double click that and then hit o for offset and i usually like to make my mold walls about four four millimeters that seems to be good All right and that's going to be how my mold box is so i'll finish that sketch and I'll hit Q, 
click in there. I'll go from the top view. And I'm going to go two sided. And this one, I'm just going to pull it out to right above the edge. So it's 80. So I don't want it to be 15. So I'm going to go 95. I'll do the other one. And then for this one, bring it right to the edge. And that's 95. So I want to add another 15. So that's 110. Then I click that plane back again and I'll click on that. And I want to make my flanges. So I just draw a box around there. And I usually have the sides just go right up to the sides there. And that you just click the collinear, you click the line and click that line. And then I like a 50 millimeter flange is pretty good. And then I finish that sketch and hit hit Q. And we're going to do symmetrical, the whole length, and the, op the opening of a clip, I can get it to about, well, 7.8, but I go about seven, so I want each side to be three and a half millimeters. So I'll just do it seven right now. That's seven both ways out, like the whole way. You know what? One little thing I do actually is I make it really huge, like 70. So then when I bevel the edges by hitting or fillet the edges by hitting F, I have bigger lines to click on. So I'll just click that, that that and that drag that in boop, boop, boop. it's just a little thing like that and then i can go back and edit that 70 back down to seven it just makes it easier to click that little line so now i got that and then split it i'm just going to hit split body that and then for the splitting tool, I'm going to go back to that original first plane I did. Just hit that. Turn that off. And now I have a front and a back. I'll turn the front one off. Click the back one. Sketch here. And I'll just draw a circle. Usually like 30. And then I'll put a little line in the center here. A line in the center here. And then I'll do the mirror. Click that, flip it off of that line. And I'll do the mirror again. I'll click that, click that, and flip it off of that one. Then I'll click each of those, bring them through, and that just knocks a hole in there. I'll just make a little peg that's three and a half millimeters, and I'll do that as a new, new body. I got the back of the mold, front of the mold, and then the little button that'll glue onto the back and uh, I'll just print four of those. So that's basically it. Super simple. I just take one, print it out. It's a 17 and a half hour print, but whatever. I actually did make this earlier, but uh, here it is basically. Um, there is one other little thing that I do. If you can see in there, these little dots, I just put little dots in there so the silicone has something to grip onto so it doesn't just slide out of here. I could show you how I do that, I suppose. Uh, first thing I do is I kind of round out the edges here, just a little fillet. I'll see why in a minute, like a five millimeter fillet. And then I, sometimes it helps to uh, do a section analysis. I'll click here and I'll click on the bottom here, draw a circle. I'm going to actually do three, so go off of this, and then I'll do a hole. Now, I don't want to go all the way, but remember this is um, three and a half. No, it's four thick, so I'll go like two, 
millimeters in, maybe 2.5. And I'll give it a taper, maybe about 20, uh, maybe 30. And then that just makes like a, a flared out hole for the silicone to lock into. And then I will go to pattern, pattern on a path. And instead of bodies, I'll do features. And I'll click this pull feature I just did. And then for the path, this is why I rounded the edges. So that's one, con here I'll turn off the analysis. So it's one continuous path. And I'll just pull away. Uh, you want the orientation to be path direction. So, and then I just start adding them in the quantity. Uh, I think I can go symmetrical. There we go. And then this leaves little little grip holes for the silicone to stick to. to kind of grab on so it doesn't just slide out. I don't know, just a little extra thing I do. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't. I'm not a huge fusion expert. I just kind of. I know enough to get by, and that's what I know. And it's worked so far. So, so coming soon. All right. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Dorn, that's the end. Thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and follow us on Instagram or Facebook at Dustin Crafts Boy. Also check out our Tee Public page for t-shirts you can buy to help support this channel. Or just go to the website dcbvarietyhour.com for all the links.